Alright people, welcome back to more Vitamin Y. So today is Wednesday and we're using U-Belt XCs of course. So, you know, lately we've been having some up and down duels. Sometimes we have duels where, you know, we get completely crushed. But then sometimes we have some duels pumped in the play in the back row. And we just, you know, do our plays and actually do really well. I'm hoping that U-Belt XCs is one of the decks that doesn't get a lot of back row and can actually do its plays. Because sometimes, uh, if I get stopped easily with back row in this deck, this deck just straight up loses. So... That's what I'm hoping right now. That is okay, I guess. You know, I can maybe, you know, do something with Phantom of Chaos and the Ferris Archer of Ferrisness. Maybe XC, hopefully, into like a Lavalo Chain Send You Bell, and I already have the Ferris Archer of Ferrisness. You know, the only problem is, is I got two Messenger Bottles, but I don't have any different levels. I mean, you know, I'm prepared to send you Bell. So that's one different level, but you know, we need we need Harris or we need Level Eater. We need one of those two to go ahead and pull off that last level. You know, if we can get that off, then we should be fine. I'm start one for one. Magical Mallet's a neg one, so yeah, he's at five. Uh, that's pretty much uh, that's all that I'm hoping for right now. Soul Charge, got a ton of revival, alright. So I feel like we're going against something sacky, but I'm going to try my best not to let it hinder me. Yeah. Especially since now he played Jar of Greed, like, uh, Upstart, Jar of Greed, Magical Mallet, I feel like he's using something sacky, but... I like, I like the benefit of the doubt. I'll allow you to show me what you got. Right now, I'm not really liking what I'm seeing. Looks like an Exodia deck, except why would you have a 5 card extra deck? You don't need any extra deck, really. Alright. Exodia. Oh. Spelled Exodia wrong. Are you using it? Sure seems like it. Stalling with Marshmallow and a whole bunch of draw cards and shuffling. Sure seems like Exodia. Because if you're using Exodia, then I don't want to do you. I wanted a duel. Not watch. Oh my god. Watch you play with yourself. You. Oh my god. You. Use a deck with skill. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You win. You win. I don't want to duel you. I don't want to duel you. I don't want to duel Exodia. I hate skillish trash. I hate skillish trash more than anything. I'd rather get sacked by an opponent using back row than duel against someone who's pretty much not dueling me at all. You saw that. Upstart, Joe Agree, Magical Melee. Oh, set on my Marshmallow on. Oh, you can't get over it, Marshmallow on. Oh, oh, Joe, 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 Exodia. Like, you're not even dueling me. You might as well not even duel me. Then. I might, as, I might as well not even be sitting in the cross and you doing it. Because all, literally all you're doing is playing with yourself, trying to draw Zodia. It's literally, it's some, you know, can't stand this fucking sake shit in Yu-Gi-Oh. Can't stand it. Can't stand fucking Final Countdown, can't stand Exodia, can't stand fucking Burn, can't stand OTKs. Like, you know? You know, consistent OK, OTKs, you know? If you're a whole hell bent on just OTKing the shit out of your opponent, then I'm not for that. You know, if you just happen to OTK your opponent with the cards that you got, then you know what? Sure, fine. But you know, like fucking dark matter, like that. You're just trying to OTK your opponent. Like you're not even trying to do your opponent. You're straight up just trying to get that fucking rank it as soon as filled, as soon as possible, just so you can make that OTK as quick as possible. So that's all I got to say about that. Like sometimes I'm just like just shaking my head about this game that we call Yugi Mons. Alright. Like, wow. You didn't want to... Most of the time when people say wrong deck, they kind of just go with it, you know? You know, the only time that it doesn't happen is with me, because, of course, you know, when I'm using the wrong deck, it's the wrong deck for the day. So, you know, I have to quit and then use the correct deck, but, you know, that's probably the first person to be like, oh, wrong deck, and then just quit. CC's Pizza... CC, are you promoting CC's all of a sudden? That hand looks actually pretty good too. You know, I drew you Bell, but then I also drew uh, 
uh, Rhoda to handle the situation, too. So, so CC's Pizza. I don't, I don't know how I feel about CC's. I really haven't eaten or eaten or whatever the word is at pizza, at CC's in like uh, forever. So I really can't say that I'm like, oh yeah, CC's. You know, I was more there for the sweets than the pizza. You know, or salmon rolls and stuff. But it's been a cool minute, cool minute since I've been to CC's. So why would you name your account so? So what's up with the foot? <laughs> Ah, well, I'm at defeat. <laughs> Good job, GG. GG, I cannot play against Necro Valley. Like, damn. Necro Valley, Exodia, like, come on. I want to get a duel in. I want to. It's the whole point of fucking, fucking trying to record here. I apologize, people. It's not really my fault. It's more just <laughs> what, you know, what I get on fucking... On the end here. God damn it! I don't care. Just pick something. Shit. No. Ten's not bad. It's just not beautiful either. At least I didn't draw any forms of Ubel, even though if I did, I couldn't make use of Dark Greffer, but, you know. At least I didn't draw Ubel, so I really can't complain much about that, right? I'll take your 19. Why didn't you play Mage Power before you attacked? I guess he thought he was going to get fucked up with back row, so he's like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just attack first and then put the map sharp, but I don't know. I don't know, it didn't seem right to me. Effect. I'll go ahead and summon Terror. That opened up a limit reverse. Ah, now I wait. Effect. Yep. No oh, mage power, you could have got an extra 500, but, you know. If you want to win mage power, then, I mean, someone quit mage power, then attack, then I had, like, a deep prison, then he would have negged harder than, I guess, just poking, but he would have lost his mage power, but I don't know. I don't know. I can tell this man how to play his freaking deck. So now I need to stall out, because clearly didn't get much of anything. I got soul charge. Can't do much with that. What the heck is this? Alright. Super Vice, alright. In this back, once you turn, this card will be destroyed by battle of a card. It's not. Oh, okay. This card battle is an after damage calculation. You can spend some of them. Alright, that's fine. Okay. I don't know what you're going into. Are you going into that Gemini monster? Because technically that guy's a Gemini on the field. No, you're gonna go into him. Alright. I'm Gemini monster. No, all Gemini monsters. No, getting their effects. That's fine. Okay, this is resolved. Effect. I'll go ahead and summon Ultimate Nightmare. Oh, I got another limit reverse. So that's fine. Who's the bigger threat here? Once while this card is faced on a field, you could place one counter. No, no, no. So that's only once. So I'm not really worried about that. Well, this can give Gemini monsters all their effects, but he can use this to exceed into something. And then he can also draw into a Gemini monster. But I have limit reverse. So I can always just summon you bell again. You know, if he went, if he jumped through all of them hoops and loops and shit for fucking 
to get rid of Terra just for me to summon it right back with another limit reverse. Okay, right now, not drawing what I need right now. Haven't even really been able to do any C play. That's the problem with debuff C's is that it takes some setup. You know, it's not like bam, here's the combo. It's kind of like all right, I got this card and this card and this card. All right, here we go. Yeah, I got the combo. I got the pieces. It's gonna take me like three or four cards to pull this off. Oh, back row. All right, well you win. You know, so that's that's literally been the problem. That's all as long as card is crazy. All face motion. Okay. Alright, we got Galaxy Queen's Light. I can make Dora. Yeah, I could make Dora. No. Dora, Dora, Dora the Explorer, Dora. Super cool Explorer, Dora. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you know what? Sure, I'll make Dora. Make everybody level 10. Then, level 10. I could go for Sleep with Chocolate Fletch Cover, but I'd rather keep Ultimate Nightmare. And Dora. That's till the end of the turn, right? Yeah, until the end phase. I wonder what this set monster is. Probably nothing. Attack. Effect. You take 22 and you're destroyed. I thought he was going for that one fusion guy, the one with the two normal monsters. That's what I thought he was fusing into. Hey, that guy's a worm. He's not a dragon, he's a worm. My bad. Alright. My bad. That guy is a worm. I would say you can't drag can you dragons better than him? I don't think so. Ugh. See, and then we get duels like this. Where literally I just crush my opponent. Yeah, at least I get to show off my plays, but you know. Let's try to get one more duel into this video. There's a big gap between decks here on uh, Vitamin Y. Yeah. Alright. wonder what deck you're using. you allow me to go first? Alright. Hmm. Wait, do I want to summon you? Actually, you know what? No, no. Uh, I'll just foolish. I'll just foolish. I was thinking about summoning again tonight, but I'm just going to set Harris. So, foolish. I'll go ahead and drop you, Bell. Set Harris. And set the Oasis. Go ahead. Didn't open up terribly. Now, what are we facing? Good luck, have fun means nothing. <laughs> Literally means nothing. It pretty much means, uh, I say it because everybody else says it, so, you know. It's like, it's like, I don't know. No, it's like saying hello to someone, but still being like a mass murderer. Like, even a mass murderer say hello, so. Telenite? Goldfish into Kage, XC into Utopia? I think it might be Utopia. I generally don't see Goldfish into Kage. And then XC. I can't really think of what you're going to go into. Going to Dwarves, that would suck. Because I would really like my, my Harris effect. Go ahead and get me my good friend, uh, Nefarious Heart Streamed. I wish Harris said I could send the monster to the graveyard. I hate that I gotta add it to my hand and then summon it, but you know, I really can't complain about her doing her job because she does her job fine. He's just looking in that extra deck like you're exceeding into what? You're gonna exceed, exceed, but you're just, you know. There's only 15 cards in there. I guess you're freaking having a flashback about what you want to exceed summon into. Cowboy. Okay. You gonna attack? 
This car attacks on down it again down that one. Okay. This is the most no. Mm, no. That's when it's in defense position. Like, no, 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 no. You don't get to just choose. Go ahead and give me you. You didn't have to attack. You could have just left him in defense position. Oh, I drew a rota. Well, if I drew a rota, I might as well summon Dark Reffer and run him over instead. You want to summon Dark Reffer? Okay. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Damn, he was just ready to play that victory skill. Hmm. Well. I guess I'll just run you over then. <sighs> Damn. If you would have read my Dark Verifier, you could have made me pay for cost. You didn't even allow me to pay for cost. You just like, pretty skill. Like, oh, okay. That's right. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm. Yep. He just threw the Bexley skill at me, like, oh damn. Oh damn. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, he fucking activated that breakthrough skill so fast, you thought it was fucking goddamn bottomless with how fast he activated that breakthrough skill. And hello? <laughs> and now, since I know he has breakthrough skill and how bad he's been playing, I'm thinking about just activating Oasis. Alright. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go on and get a knight. Effect. I still have another breakfast skill, in which case I really don't care. I'll we'll drop a little eater. Go ahead and have these two attack you, unless you have a mirror force, in which case I don't care. 14, 17. And, um. Could exceed, but you know what? I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna leave these two just like that. The reason why is because if you summon something and kill one of them, I can just summon the phase action and then exceed and respond to his place. And instead of overextending his exceed right now. Wow, I'm it out. Ayo, no. I don't even think Necros are even going to be tier 1, to tell you the truth. I don't even see that deck come. Oh, it's gadgets. Machina gadgets. Hmm. I'm clearly up on resources, so that's not even an idea. Could activate the Wasted Summon You Bell, Summon Nefarious Arshina and Nefariousness, Activate Galaxy Queen's Light, Make Super Chocolate Fudge Cover, or Dora. Yeah, or Dora. Yeah, seems like a fun idea to me. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I got an idea. I got an idea. And it might come down to his back row and how dumb he is. But I got an idea. There you go. Oh. Oh. Okay, so wait. I activate it. And then now your trap's done? Like, okay. 
it's it stays. It's stuck. Like that was weird. I'm like activate, and he's like, okay, some of my monster traps done. Like, like it doesn't make any sense. Technically, if we were gonna go technicalities, I would want to waste this. Activate, okay, you said fun, summon you, and then he would have traps done. So then you would have been stuck on the field, not equipped to waste this anymore. But you know what? Let's go. Cool. No, it doesn't. Oh my god. The monster was never summoned. You trap stunned at activation, right? Or at summon. I mean, I'm gonna leave it to you. If you trap stun activation, it still stays. I know we got my summon. If we trap stun at summon, then I just summon you Bell and you just trap stun for no reason. And then my card would still be on the field. Right? What? Which one? One. At activation or summon? Because either way, I really don't give a shit. Okay. If you can negate that activation, then I never summon. Negate the activation, which technically you didn't. You didn't, but whatever. Uh, then uh, it's just it's stuck on the field, and I never summoned my monster. Oh my god! Which is fine. It's fine. You trap stun, I don't have to worry had I don't have to worry about any more background this duel. So I never summoned. So I can summon Max Chameleon and Max Chameleon can summon me back. You bell, and then I can see. That's what I want to do. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I still want to do my play. Yeah. So, summon Mask Chameleon, Mask Chameleon, bring back you bell, activate Galaxy Queen. Yeah, I'm just going to do the same exact play. Same exact play, except different. So. But. I don't have to worry about your background anymore since your trap's done. So. Summon you bell, activate Galaxy Queen's Light, all 10. Go ahead and overlay these two into Dora. Seriously. And uh, battle phase. Dora effect. Oneself. Okay. So, I go Dora effect on self. Wait, you're not playing the Lance? Okay, whatever. Attack. And just draw my bell. Target a card destroy. You have to destroy it's mandatory. This card is destroyed by balancing the air target one card. Your opponent controls destroy the target. So You have to just you have to target a card. You have to target it. Oh my god. Yep. Fine. Fine! God you're bad! <laughs> so bad. If you if you if you destroyed your bell, then I wouldn't get terror because mass command. That's why he screwed up my play with Oasis, because I was going to do the same play, except, you know, if you destroyed me, I would still get my tear, but nope. So, that was bad. Ugh, that was bad. <laughs> so. I hope it was worth it. So, now your bell's on the field, it's fact negated. And now you revealed to me that that's Forbidden Lance.
almost summon. Go ahead and attack. Wow. He just said, fuck it. Just gonna set her. Like, damn. Go ahead. Terror's not my hand. With what? Terror's already in gray. No, he isn't. That was that was done though. Like, ugh. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad. You're bad. That was all bad. Bad, 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 bad. Yeah, just got done recording. <laughs> well, at least I exceeded your Dora, so. At least I did something with you, Boxies. Well. Yeah. Oh my god. Everybody just like, do me, do me, do me. Like, one of these days, I'm just gonna set aside a day and just do all my viewers and subscribers. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Vitamin Y. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Cosmic Bell. Alright guys, thanks for watching.